And you, we said anybody that had had it hold for another couple of minutes, this is the target right here that's trying to get taken out. And first measure I had was 275, and then we, I've got to the fives. So target achieved here, and the, in the five five and a quarter was my next target. So anybody that that is taken out this high, and that's part of of this trade is maybe to respect the top for now and and come in just above here, stretch the range. But my first measure, if if you look at uh, in the FF 275, 288, and then the five and a quarter. So good trade. Anybody got this? You know, first pullbacks are viable, as we said, and. Basically, this trade just comes out once once this high is gone over here from from that you know flag that we had talked about. Half gap trade comes back into the 97s and the 96 and a quarter angel is. A nice job pushing. Um, keep an eye on time. I, I would think that right now in in this range right in here, you'll want to take profits if you're long. And if not, that's up to you. If you ain't got a winner all day long and you're going to hang with it, good. But it's certainly, you know, this is an area that I I like to take profits. You know, if, if you're greedy, you know, we said free market. Anytime you can get a few points, so there's more than a few points. This, this is a good day. I mean, come on. If you had this trade, you can go play now. So the half gap trade will be setting up, and in my opinion, um, because the 97 and a quarter area is a rain line, that, that's going to be an important support today. But take profits if you're long, and if you have a trailer and want to hang on to it, up to you. And usually, um, the first move is viable, first pullback. So if you're looking at a five-minute chart, that's what it looks like. And that's why I said, you know, there will be traders who will be trying to short coming in for the half gap trade. Gap trade. And that was done. Normally, the best reaction is, and it won't always work, is obviously the first directional move on a pullback. Take it with the trend. Zeke made a nice call. And if we get to five and a quarter, uh, I would take, you know, make, make sure you get paid for this. Don't let this get away. This is a nice trade. And obviously a little ahead of ourselves, if you want to put a two on, put a two. If you want to put a one, put the one. And if you if you use a little bit, you know, a fast chart, and if you use a slower chart, you know, like the 30 and, and a 15, and keep an eye on the daily, you know, all of these are important charts. And obviously the 60 for directionality. So about a point and a half away from that 1506 high. And this is this is your smoking bar. This is fast profits, boom. And this is join the party. And you know we had said uh, earlier, you know above the 99 and in above the 96. Two more ticks for that five and a quarter. Okay, nice trade. Anybody got that? Great trade. All right, relax, you know, and then just because, you know, this may or may not be a, a profit-taking area, you don't have to short. That's up to you. If you just made something, you know, go sidelines, relax. Taking something out of the market is the key. And keep an eye on time.
like I said before, it's a little bit early for you know trying to trying to come back. Still a hair early, but you know price is better. And we said likely today that the um, boys are going to try to defend 96. And if they got it above that 98, 99 area, this was an important hold right in here. Remember we talked about the 99? So today it looks like the short side is going to have, have their hands full. 